Hi, I'm Phil Burt, welcome to Phil Burt Innovation YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about cycling bib shorts. I get a lot of people asking me how do I tell what is the right cycling short for me and it can be a bit of a nightmare. There's so many options out there. So today I'm going to give you my top five tips of what to look for in a bib short. Okay, we'll start with chamois, the most important part of the short if you ask me. The rest of the short is built around the chamois. The chamois is there to be flexible, move with you while you're pedaling, and protect you, I reduce pressure when you're sitting on your, on your bum, basically. So when we take that forward, how are you gonna tell whether, whether the chamois is good in a shot, for example? Well, number one, make sure you try and try the shorts on. If you can try it on, on a bike and the shop lets you do that, that's brilliant. If you can't, try the shorts on and squat up and down. The chamois should move with you. It should allow your legs to move away from you. It shouldn't feel hard and rigid. It should be feel part of your body, and a good quality chamois I mean, a good quality short will feel nice and comfy and snug. The second thing to look at, Ray, what you want to do is look at the foam quality of it and push down, get hold of the chamois and push your thumb and finger together across it, especially around the sit bones if you're a, ride, if you're a road rider or further to the front if you're a time trialer. What you want there is lots of padding in the right area to protect you and bottom out that pressure while you're sitting on the bike so that you're chamois interaction with the saddle is good. Okay, second thing to look for in, in a cycling short is the quality of the gripper. Now the gripper is the thing on the leg that clues in the tire grips the, grips the leg and it's important because a good quality gripper will stop the short rocking up and ruffling and forming excess material in the groin area that can be a big cause of saddle sores that I see in some people so a good quality gripper will hold the short in the right place and it's actually really important to hold in the chamois in the right place so again try it on see if the see if the short moves up and down your thigh when you do some movements it shouldn't do okay third thing to look at is the bib the actual thing that comes over your shoulder if you're looking at a bib short now a good quality Quality bib when you put it on again will stay close to your skin and feel like it's stretching and moving with you a good quality bib is really important because it's the thing that hangs the short on you okay it, again try and get into a cycling position sometimes with a bib don't assess any sort of bib short standing up because that's not what you're going to be doing it most of the time get in that cycling position the bib should feel like it's holding the chamois onto your bottom Okay, point number four, the material. Now the material the short is made, up, made out of is really important for two main reasons for me. One, when you're riding in it, so the weather. So for example, if you're riding in the winter, you probably want a short that's literally it's gonna block out the wind. How can you tell whether you'll do that? Well basically pick up the material, pull it apart. If you can see for it, the wind's gonna go for it and that short will feel pretty cold. More, tend to be more expensive woven shorts. You pull them apart, you can't see through them. They're the ones that the, the wind won't get through but allow sweat out. The second point is the material is really important to how the short feels. Put it on again. If it feels nice, it conforms to you, it feels snug, that's a good quality material because it'll be stretching and compressing in the right areas. There's no better way than just trying it on, to be honest with you. Okay, the fifth point to look at in a short is the number of panels it has, where the seams are and how it hangs. If you look at a short, a cycling short, when you hang it up, it should almost hang like it's looking like you're on a bike, all right? If it goes straight down and then when you hang it up and it's not got some of these things that you recognize of being in a cycling position, it's probably gonna act pretty sort of all over the place on the bike. A good short will have lots of individual panels trying to achieve what we call shaping, and it will shape to you on the bike. So general rule is the more panels you see on a short, the more technically proficient the, the maker of the short has to be, and they've put a lot of thought and effort into how that short will fit you and shape to you. Generally a little bit, a bit more money, but sometimes worth paying for. Okay, so to wrap up, I don't know of any one brand at the moment that makes everybody happy. Um, spending more money doesn't necessarily guarantee getting a better bib short. But if you go through the five tips, well, I think what we can definitely do is narrow it down and stop you making really bad choices and hopefully slightly more informed and intelligent choices about the short that's going to work for you.